How you doing? Welcome to the Kingdom Cultural Center. Now, I want, I want you to understand something here. You may see the phrase, watching the kingdom. And I want to let you know that when you get the word of God in you, and I always, I'm going to use this term, you get it in you right. Meaning, you dedicate your life to it and seek God for that. Seek the kingdom. You'll get it right. You'll get it right. Don't get caught up with your pastor. Don't get caught up with the members in the church, but seek him right. Now, I want to go on to say something here. Listen to this. So, and I'm going back to, I, I, I call it my, 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 uh, my foundation. My foundation. I'm going to read something here. I'm going to say this, and I want you to listen. Three words. Do not worry. My version, don't sweat the small stuff. Listen to what Jesus say, our King and Lord. Matthew 6 and 25. Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body. What you will put on is not the question. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? This is the king speaking to you. <laughs> this is the king. He's telling you, don't worry about these things. A kingdom, a king is talking to his children, don't worry about this. Don't worry about your clothing, your life, what you're going to put on. Don't worry about it. This is the concept. When you have this kingdom concept, you don't sweat nothing else. Religion goes out the window because that's what it is. People are always saying, well, my, 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 my faith, what is your faith? What is your faith in? When you hear people say, well, my faith, what is your faith? Who you believe in? Question them, challenge them. You know, the homosexual agenda is so outspoken and so boldly. We need to be, speak that word. Don't attack them. Just speak the word. Speak the word. Know it. In order for you to speak it, you got to know it. But speak the word in love. Let them know Jesus loves you. He can change you. Do you know there's many people being changed from their ways because they submit their lives and they're seeking? Listen when he goes on to the 26th verse. This is what the king says. Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather in bonds, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are ye not more value than they? You know, when I think about this, and when I listen, listen to the king speak here, I think about all these people right now that are dying without Christ. Dying. Christian fighting. God doesn't need you to fight for him. He got legions of angels. He don't need you to fight for him. So shut that hole under your nose and just speak the word. Speak the word. Let the Holy Spirit speak through you. Remember, Jesus said, hey, in the, in the moment that you, you, you have to answer, the Holy Spirit will speak. But let him speak. You don't have to fight. And if you're afraid of dying, you need to seek out your purpose. Because if you're afraid of dying, that means you haven't discovered your purpose. Hey, one thing, hey, water, fire, water, fire. They don't mix. So if you haven't discovered your purpose, if you're afraid of dying, then you haven't discovered your purpose. Let us go on. 27. When you are, which of you by worrying can add one cupid to your statue? I tell my wife sometimes, don't sweat the small stuff, honey. She was like, hey, what I, I don't sweat the small stuff. Don't worry about something. If I can't pay a bill, if I can't do this, 
I'm not going to worry about it. I just trust and believe. See, trust and worry do not occupy the same space. Either you're going to worry or either you're going to trust. Either you're going to have faith in him or either you're going to doubt. But you can't occupy the same space. Not at one time. I choose to have my faith in my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I choose to seek the kingdom every day. And I choose to encourage others to seek God's kingdom. What is his kingdom? It's the kingdom is within you. Yes. Principles, laws, precepts. These are the things of kingdom principles. These principles come from the, your culture, where you're from. When you accept Christ, then you start getting into this word and understanding God's word. The principles and his laws will live in you. And guess what? You will be what they call a living law, living principle. Because when people see you, they'll see God's principles. Many of you have been living in your community for years. And all they know you as is being religious and going to church. Like millions of other people do. And you smoke, drink, get high and do everything else. And got the audacity to say it's not what you do, but how you do it. You're going to bust hell. The Bible says hell has enlarged himself for you. Get a clue. Embrace God's word. God's word is the kingdom, is the principles. The Holy Spirit, remember, Jesus said the same spirit that rose, rose him from the grave is the same spirit that's going to take your mortal body. You need to get a clue. The word of God, you need the Holy Spirit in order you to stop being a victim and start being victors, winners. We go on. So you can't worry. By worrying, you're not going to accomplish anything. Look at the 28. Why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lily of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And yet, I say to you, even that even Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. When you're in God's kingdom and you embrace his word and you're focused on that, you don't have to worry about what you wear, your clothes. Let me tell you something. The Lord have opened doors for myself. I just can't imagine. You know, sometimes I go to my closet and I just look and get a clothes and uh, get to make a last to me. I said, thank you, Lord. You've been so good to me. When I get up in the morning, what I do is say, thank you, Father. You're good. And if everything falls through, I know I'm his child. I know I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Stay in my purpose. Encouraging those who are there, who are out there, those in Africa, India. I want you to know that Jesus is Lord. Whether you accept it or not, he's king of kings and lord of lords. That's why he said we're priests and we're kings. We are the kings. Why do you think that in Revelation, he said, the book of Revelation, he said he's king of kings and lord of lords because we're kings. But the thing is, the world system has given us to see that, hey, we're not nobody. In Jesus, there's no followers. There's leaders. In your, in your, in, in your world, the world system wants to suppress you. God doesn't have no slaves. He doesn't have no servants. He has citizens. And he has heirs. And Jesus said we're heirs and join heirs with him. So that makes us sons and daughters. We need to get a clue and study God's word. You have a nice day. And my last word to you, seek first. Uno, 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 uno. Seek first the kingdom. And all this other stuff, you don't want to have to sweat. Have a nice day.